week, guys. Do you want to have a fling? I mean, a watercolor fling. What did you think I was talking about? <laughs> In today's video, we're going to fling some paint to make a beautiful Frisian's mane really fly. So let's get started. So the first step that I did was I used my Avera casting net brush because it holds a lot of water. You can just use any round brush that has a good point and holds a decent amount of water because what you're going to be doing is putting clear water in your brush and painting just like you had pigment. So if you want the, the mane to be in this shape, you're going to be putting the clear water kind of almost in puddles because we want to be able to fling them. So we want them actually dripping. So a lot of water and kind of in the direction of the mane, paint in the direction of the mane along this crest of his neck with puddling pools of clear water, but not just round pools. You want them in the shape of long strands of hair so that when you go to fling it, the water will fling out and make these longer lines of paint when we drop that in. And I'm flinging the paint. And when you go to fling the paint, you want to fling in different directions. And you're gonna have to play with this a little bit to see which way you need to fling to get the, the mane to fling out in the direction you want it to. And you want it to fling out in several different directions. You don't want it all in one direction because that will look totally fake. You want it to fling up kind of above his ears and then straight out from his neck and then kind of down over his withers or back. But anyway, to create the colors in this mane, I just used my typical colors, my typical pa palette for a brown horse or a brown animal. And um, that would include um, burnt sienna. And you can see the burnt sienna kind of granulate out and the ultramarine blue. And I also used cerulean in this painting and that really makes things uh, granulate out really beautifully. So you might want to try that too. Okay, so again, here I'm going in with my Alvero casting net brush with a good point. I'm putting that paint directly into this puddle of water that I've created. So you do have to work a little bit fast. You've got to be able to drop the, I would say it's about between milk and cream consistency paint that I'm dropping into these very wet puddles of main shaped water that I've created. And it's a combination of burnt sienna and ultramarine blue. And here you can see I'm also doing a little bit of splatter. I want this area to be kind of chaotic and fun and loose looking. So I did do a lot of splattering and just um, here I'm gonna go and do a little bit of flinging and let's see what happens. You can see right there, I've got it kind of parallel to the floor and then at an angle to the floor and I'm doing it a couple different directions because I want to uh, have the main flinging in more than just one direction. And you see how some of the little flings went too far. I mean, obviously that would look kind of trite to make the main look too long because that would be um, kind of fairy tale esque looking and a little trite. You don't want the horse to look too Barbie dolled up, if you know what I mean. So I padded out some of the um, mane and then I'm painting right across some of those stripes right away with some tea consistency paint and um, almost clear paint. I mean, there's barely anything in my brush there, and you can even go in with clear water with less pigment in your brush here and then I'm painting out some of those longer lines that I just don't want um, some of these longer lines in there and I'm shaping it. So I'm working around the mane now and putting in some ultramarine blue up there in the corner and some cerulean blue and working on my background at the same time so that it all kind of merges together so that it hangs together well and there are some soft edges at the ends of the mane so that again, this mane doesn't look pasted on and too um, contrived. You want it to look natural. You want it to look like it's moving and there's soft edges and hard edges on. And here I'm going in with some clear water into what I already painted with a rigor brush and painting into the mane some more strands of hairs coming out. 
and you don't want to paint every single strand. You want to think more in terms of currents of the mane. You want to just keep reworking this mane as much as you can um, while it's wet in this stage to shape it and get it where you want it to go. And later you can go in and, and add some details. Now what I will do later is go and put some more darks in because when this dries, it'll be all kind of one flat medium tone. And so it will need some changes to that later. So here I'm putting in some cream consistency mix of burnt sand and ultramarine blue. And the more ultramarine blue you put in it, the blacker it's gonna look. The more burnt sienna you put in it, the browner it's gonna look. So try to vary your ratios a little bit with each brush stroke so it's not all one flat brown and one flat black. In one part of the main, make it more burnt sienna. In one, another part of the main, have more ultramarine blue so that you have some variety of color everywhere and it's not just one flat stuck on looking section of mane because there is a lot of um, movement in a mane obviously so where the light hits the mane in at different angles there's going to be different colors and different values so keep that in mind when you're painting this mane that it's not going to be all one flat color and we can go in later and kind of tweak that too but the more you can do at this stage to get that variety down the fresher it's going to look and the more natural it's going to look. Okay, you guys, I am going to call that a wrap. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time and take care.